Hey everyone, again, this is Pastor Chuck right here in Victor Outreach, Cape Town. And uh, I'm coming forth with another segment on breaking barriers. And uh, we've been looking at how to break barriers. Uh, we've been looking at, it's not necessarily what you're doing on the outside of your church, but sometimes what you're doing on the inside. We looked at most of our barriers can come by just breaking our own personal leadership barriers. We also looked at some of the cultural barriers that are within our churches, our organizations. And then we also looked at breaking the structural barriers. And here in this segment, I want to take a look at breaking strategy barriers. Breaking strategy barriers. Is there a creative energy in your church or in your organization that is helping you break barriers. We hope that you're enjoying this content. And if you like it, I want you to get to like the video there on the bottom and also subscribe to our Victor Outreach Cape Town YouTube channel. So when it comes to breaking strategic barriers, I love the analogy uh, when you think of Uber. When you think of Uber and their whole transportation strategy, they didn't change transportation they enhanced how transportation works. And so when it comes to our churches and our organizations, when it comes to uh, having a strategic mind or when it comes, I'm sorry, to having a creative mind, you don't necessarily have to change the ministry or change uh, the gang or change the homes. I think we have core ministries that make us who we are and core ministries that have allowed us to be effective for over 50 something years. But I do believe that we can bring enhancements to these areas of ministry, that the ministries are staying relevant, that they're staying cutting edge, that they're staying up to date, they're staying fresh. Uh, remember, we're not a traditional based ministry. Uh, we are a vision driven ministry. And as the vision continues to grow, we also have to be able to be creative enough to enhance the areas of ministry that help us break barriers within our church. And that is going to come through the strategic thinking. Uh, uh, I would even say the creative thinking. I believe one of the key elements, again, going back to last uh, segment, was the empowerment. When people feel empowered, they feel the liberty to be creative. They feel the liberty to think outside the box to be able to enhance the area of ministry. I believe creativity is always birthed from hitting a barrier. When you hit a barrier, you hit something and you can't get the result that you're shooting for, and you can't get the result that you want to see, it forces you into a place of figuring it out. And as your mind begins to think and begins to try to figure it out, it automatically begins to trigger that creative side that exists in all of us. And uh, I believe that. So the key elements to being able to have a creative culture uh, within our church is to be able to have an empowered culture, but secondly, also being able to be innovative and creative. Uh, I think one of the things that we need to do is that we need to model creativity. As a leader and as a pastor, we need to model creativity. I'll give you an example. Uh, the, the last few weeks that we've been here in Cape Town, I've been kind of, you know, we're in multiple services on a Sunday morning. We have three, three services that take place. We have an hour and a half service with a 15 minute transition that takes place in between services. And so because the services are so tight with time-wise, they can become so structured that they can also become very predictable. And so when the services begin to, even though they're dynamic, I mean, our music is strong, our presentation is strong, the, the preaching of the word is decent. And so the services are good and they're fulfilling and people leave feeling fed. But at the same time, if you stay the same, then it could become very uh, kind of predictable. And so as a leader, I, I want to be able to say not only we have solid services, but we also have a creative side. And so we were launching out a church on Sunday morning and we're launching out not just a church, but we're launching out a, a pastor and his wife and we were sending them to another side of the country. And so I'm sharing their journey with the church. And as I'm sharing their journey with the church of the lifestyle that they were coming from of drug addiction and how Jesus Christ got a hold of their life. And now here they are, licensed ministers, pastors with a child that the doctor said they could never have. And we're going to be sending them out to another side of the country. I could feel the atmosphere of our church totally change. So this got my mind to begin to think creativity 
that these are some of the dynamics that we need to have in our services that keep us and protect us from becoming predictable in our services. So the creative side begins to, to, to get stirred, begins to get excited. And so now what we're going to do is I want to take that same idea of a success story, of a miracle story, and be able to package and present it in our Sunday mornings. So there's another young lady. Her name is Judy. And she uh, also came through our home. She was, uh, you know, victory home. She was on drugs and she was in the streets and all that type of stuff. And God brought her into our home, delivered her. And she's been serving the Lord strong for a good amount of time now. She's mothering her children. She's, she's really become a successful person in society. And so the same way that it was the story of Pastor Francois and Candace that brought an atmosphere to our church that I would like to see that happen more often, I'm taking Judy's story and being able to put, put it together through video and we're going to do a video with her, and this is going to take place during the service in the special special item of the service, the special number. And they're going to do the video with her and a little interview with her and her mother and where she came from and how God got a hold of her and what she's doing now. And then after the video finishes, the lights will go on, and right there will be Sister Judy along with our rehab choir in the back, and they're going to do the special item that morning. So again, the creative side... I'm not changing the service, I'm not changing the special item, but I'm gonna take that special item slot and be creative with it to be able to get the atmosphere that we wanna see in our churches, that our churches, our services, I'm sorry, are exciting, they're, they're not predictable, there's something fresh that's taking place in their service. I believe that that needs to happen in every ministry. I believe that that needs to happen in the life group, that needs to happen in the gang, that needs to happen and even what we're doing here with this uh, YouTube channel, this again is a fresh idea of being able to take what we do and, and not change what we do, but enhance what we do. And I believe this is a, a very solid and very important side of every leader to have a creative side. And if we don't have it naturally, we should surround ourselves with creative people and don't get intimidated by their creativity, but be able to allow them to add and enhance the things that we're doing within our local church. So we're modeling creativity, and the more we model it, the more we're encouraging it. And if our ministries, not only our church is being creative, but also our ministries are being creative, they too will be breaking barriers within the local church and within the church. And again, not necessarily starting new ministries, but being creative and innovative in ways that help maximize the existing ministries. I remember another thing that we did within the church is that we had an influx of people that were coming into the church and there was a lot of a breakthrough that took place and there was an, you've seen the services were becoming more full. Now those people that were coming in at that time, were coming into the church, were not necessarily attending life groups. They were not necessarily getting plugged into any other area of ministry. They were just attending on Sunday mornings. And so because they were just attending on Sunday mornings, there was no connection. And if there's no connection, then there's no way for them to be effectively ministered to. And so I had, we had to figure out, okay, so if these people are not directly connected to us as pastors, they're not involved in life groups, they're not uh, getting plugged into the music ministry, what is something that we can do to be able to connect with these people? And one thing that we discovered is that if they're not connected to us or they're not connected to a life group or a ministry group, most of them drop off their children at the children's ministry. And so we looked at how could we use that connection point within our church to better connect with the parents of those children that were being dropped off. And so they had uh, the, the, the children's ministry had a, a, another event on a Saturday where they brought all the parents in and, and as they were bringing all the parents in so they could see their children doing different things. Then we as pastors also came to that event and we were able to connect more with those families that were coming into the church and being able to build that connection. So again, we didn't start a new ministry. We just brought a creative idea to enhance an existing ministry to be able to meet a need within our church. And I believe this is very important as we go forward uh, and we're building our churches and building our ministries that we don't become stagnant, 
that we, we don't become predictable, that we lose our relevance when it comes to, to, to society, when it comes to the times that we're living in. We must stay relevant without neglecting our principles, but at the same time, and I think that that's where that creative side of the ministry is very, very important. And so I want to encourage you, pastor, leader, uh, make sure that you're, you're, you know, really do that. Uh, feel free, feel the liberty to step out and be creative. And if it's not natural for you, surround yourself with creative people. Again, this is Pastor Chuck right here in Cape Town, South Africa. And we really appreciate you tuning in. We hope that you're, you're being blessed by these different segments and different teachings that are coming forth. And again, for these last few segments, we've been looking at breaking barriers. And if you enjoy this and you're being blessed by it, you could like the video there on the bottom and you can also subscribe to our Victory Outreach Cape Town YouTube channel. And then you can also share it so that we can continue to try to do it. Take what God is doing right here in Cape Town and be a blessing to all of us that are continuing to grow. God bless you and we hope to see you soon.